In this demo, I will show how to use the optimization feature of SAM. We will try to minimize the torque of the motor. Here we see a four bar linkage mechanism at which we have put a mass of 10 kilograms at node 5. Left we see the display of the torque of the motor, which is here. This is number 6, motor number 6. We, were, we have switched off the gravity. For the curve at the graph, we will switch off the auto scaling such that we can see the relative improvements while we are optimizing the mechanism. To get a lower driving torque, we decide to add a compensation mass. There are many ways to do so. I choose for two extra beams to locate the mass. So I'll choose the beam connected to this node. Second beam. And we will add mass to this beam. R remark, we cannot add a loose mass at a node for optimization purposes. So we need to change the properties of this beam. We add a mass of 20 kilograms and we put it at the extreme position at the right. So here we see it now. Here we see also this element has a mass of 20 kilograms. At the graph, we don't see much improvements here. So, in this case, we need optimization to get the torque lower. First step is to define the objective of the optimization. We choose for a function, not a path, and we have to define the objective details. The detail will concern the motor at 6. This will be an element. It's number 6, the motor, and we will optimize its torque. We will look at the torque for optimization. The next step is to define the performance number. And we will look at the maximum in absolute sense. So the absolute maximum of the torque will be looked at. And here we will define that we want to minimize that. The penalty function is not needed here. It's for more dedicated options. The second step for an optimization is to define what changes we allow. We call this the optimization parameters. Best practice is not to change many dimensions at once. I choose to change both the mass position and its value. So here we go. We change, choose for the parameters, select a node. We select the node and we drag a rectangle for the area of the allowed position. This is the area where the node of node 6 may be positioned. Next we also will use as a parameter the mass value itself. So we go to the properties of the beam we select the mass as being a parameter for the optimization and we let it lie between 0 and 20 kilograms. 
you can change these values at any time. Just select a node or element and open the optimization tab. So here we can change the mass for optimization, the ranges of the mass, or we can just disable it. Now we come to the point to start the optimization process. But first have a short view at the optimization options. There are two stages of optimization. It starts with a global exploration done by an evolutionary process. The second stage defaults for a simplex, simplex method and this looks for a local minimum. So we will start the optimization run now and we will see what happens. Here it goes. So we can shift the dialog down. And here we see as some finds a better solution, it will be displayed immediately. Here these quick changes are done by the simplex method. And now finally the best solution is found. So we can select it. And just by doing a undo we can see what the startup situation was here we see the range of the talk and after optimization we see what happened okay